And we asked him to cool this thing down as cold as possible. And uh, him and Graham got it done. So shout out to, to Chismar and uh, Graham for, uh, you know, getting this place cool. I'm sure y'all appreciate it too. Too bad you don't enjoy it more often. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we don't want to get soft. <laughs> what does it do, though, for you guys to be able to come in here and have a little bit of an easier environment? Well, it's great because, let's be honest, it's hot out there. Right? We have to practice in the heat. We have to get used to it. But there's diminishing returns. So eventually, when you've hit that point, you know, when you're out there an hour and a half, we're coming here the last roughly 30 minutes, cool down, rejuvenate us for Skelly and team periods, create a little juice. You know, game day, you're going to – guys aren't going to feel – as tired or dragged out, they're gonna be ready to play. So this kind of gives us that juice to go attack those last 25, 30 minutes of practice. It is about day seven, you know, but what do you see your team is at two days in? We're competing. I mean, I, it, we run to the ball more. We're not complaining as much. If we don't have, make a good play, we get the hell up and we run back to the next play. If we make a good play, we celebrate quickly and go to the next play. It's not like we're getting wrapped up in a play-by-play -play basis. It's a long game. Gotta be able to stay focused. And I think you saw some really good plays. Cole Martin down here made a great play on third and six. Beautifully thrown ball. Great play right in the hands. He got excited. Next play. That's what you get. Get excited. Celebrate. Next play. Right. That's what it's about. What's it been like having him come back home? Oh, it's awesome. He's got great energy. You know, I'm really big on recruiting guys that have that energy. If we don't have that energy, that passion, that's what we recruit to. That's why not everybody's for us. I don't care. I don't care what you're ranked. I don't care if you're a zero star or a five star or a four star. We're going to recruit people who bring the energy and the passion to the game of football, right? And uh, we're going to try to get the most out of them. What do you think of the linebackers' growth since spring ball? I mean, looks like obviously day two, but it looks like they're, they're all on a pretty good page. Yeah, I mean, our linebacker group is way deeper, obviously, than last year. Uh, veterans, say, I mean, you have two guys who were team captains at their last school. Uh, one kid who would have been a starter in the SEC, uh, who's here. Another guy who started for us last year, and then two other guys who played for us. So it's like, or one other guy that played for us significant snaps. So the depth there is uh, drastically different than last year, and the talent level there is 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 better to be honest. Yeah. Can you think Jack Lake Valley and kind of bringing back the tradition to ASU? You notice the guys kind of picking up on that vibe and, and believing in what you're yeah, I mean, I think uh, I think for us, you know, we're a team with a lot of guys that were misfits at their last place, or guys that went to a small school that big schools didn't believe in. Them. Now they're here, or they went to this big school and they were a superstar, and it didn't work out like they wanted. You know, we're a group of misfit underdogs that nobody thought was good enough at one point, right? And uh, it was pretty cool yesterday. All the young bucks have to sing the fight song. And uh, if, you're, if you are new to the program, and uh, they were singing it and trying to get it right, and we we're booing them off the stage and all that. And then Scat comes up and he sings it, and the whole team sings it because Scat knows it. And it was just cool to see, okay, there's the buy in. Like, he's actually passionate about that. Like, last year, he's like, why am I having to learn this? I'm trying to learn what ISO means. Now it's like, okay, there's a little bit of buy in there. And I think that's just getting like minded people going in the right direction and having those relationships. I mean, our, it sounds really corny. Our football mantra is smart, tough, the ball, the team. He is smart, he is tough, he has great ball skills, and he's as good of a teammate as you'll ever meet. He is literally the identity of smart, tough, the ball, the team. He does everything right, full speed, guys love him. He is detailed in what he does, plays hard. I mean, that's what I love about him. He just does everything right. And you win with players like that. You lose with players that have potential. You win with players that over overachieve. And the challenge is, can you get really good players to overachieve? Can you get more talented people to overachieve? But if you got a whole bunch of potential on your team, you got a whole, whole lot of losses. Staying with your comfort level right now, just staying with the show after spring and some of those things are down. Way more comfortable. It's way more comfortable out there. Obviously, Jeff is behind from the spring. So he's going through some of those growing pains, but he's still making unbelievable plays. So it's really good competition for those two guys. But uh, 100%, uh, I mean, you guys saw the throw he made today. I mean, that brought me back to another number 10 I coached, right? And very sim similar concepts. I mean, very similar plays. I mean, remarkable. But you see the comfort, the comfort, the comfort, comfort. And uh, quarterback's not about making the great play. 
It's about making the routine play and then not making critical mistakes. If you make the routine play, don't make critical mistakes, and you have elite skill sets, the elite skill sets will showcase themselves when they showcase themselves. We won't even know when they're gonna happen as a coach. It'll just show up. Holy cow, that was freakish, right? And we'll look good, but really it's just the player. Well, yeah, it removes obviously negative plays. When you have athleticism, that quarterback one creates a triple option element that you have to defend every snap. So now you have to defend that element in the run game, which opens up more rushing lanes. Two, you're harder to sack. Three, because you get to move the pocket more with those guys, because they're athletic, you're harder for a defense to know how to target you in the pocket. You're not gonna be at eight and a half yards, right, when you throw the ball on third down every time, when you throw the ball on base downs. So much pocket movement prevents pressures from actually hitting home as consistently. So it also removes negatives because you get out of the pocket as much. So those athletic, athletic quarterbacks keep you in better down and distances throughout the game. And then if they extend one or two drives with their legs, right, that could be the difference in the football game. You guys good? You guys good? Thanks, coach.